Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here during the 2023 very best award. Today, we are covering body care. So if you are new here and you've stumbled upon this video, every year in December, I create the Berry Best Award videos, which is four different videos breaking down the best makeup, skincare, body care, and hair care of the entire year. And what makes the Berry Best Awards really unique is that I pick one product per category instead of giving you like a list of 10 things. So this is really breaking it down to the best of the best in my humble opinion. And today we are covering body care. I have had quite a few thoughts about this video and deciding like what kind of direction I wanted it to go in because backstory, I have dry eczema, like lizard skin and my body has gone through a lot in terms of the way it's changed, the way it looks, the products that it likes, the things that it's been through in the past two years. So I am very consistent with the products that I tend to go for. So I was feeling like, is this video starting to become obsolete because I tend to pick the same things because I use the same products. So what I decided to do is to expand the product categories a little bit to include fragrance and general body care things that are more of like self-care. I figure that I would consider to be very integral to my body care in terms of like the actual body and the thing that takes care of me. So we are going to slowly start to like maybe phase out the body care typical product categories that you would think and start to blend in more like self-care. And I think by next year, the category might change a little bit to include things like candles, perfumes, which we're going to do this year, just like more general so that we're not as, okay, I have eczema and I'm using lotion. So it'll be a little bit of both. Let me know what you think about that. But this year it's going to have some perfume, but also like my classic eczema favorites that we always talk about. My lips are burning. There are so many new lip plumpers on the market right now, especially from the drugstore. Two that I'm testing are the plump from Maybelline and then this duck plump from NYX. Oh Oh my gosh, this one hurts so bad. This hurts about as bad, if not worse, than the Fenty Heat. And this one is made with ginger, so it is an incredibly strange feeling on the lips and it tastes like ginger. The, the plumping has gone over the top, I'll tell you that. So anyways, if you're interested to hear what some of my favorites are, all the way from my pit care to what perfumes I was wearing this year, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. We've already covered makeup and skincare. And lastly, we will be covering hair care and the worst products of 2023, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, so we are going to go down on the line in terms of like how I would start my routines to perhaps some of my more self-care items and I just felt that it was appropriate that we start with pit care. So if you are new here or if you're not new here you would know that I am a very what I would consider to be stinky person what what give it up. My husband would a thousand percent agree with this. Everybody is stinky in their own way and in their own place. Some people have sweaty stinky butt. Some people have stinky pits. Some people have stinky feet. Everybody is stinky in their own way and that is beautiful and my stink comes from my pitters so I have tried and go out of my way to try as many different kinds of deodorants as possible and when I recommend a deodorant or a pit product it means it is top of the line so I'm gonna start with what I would consider to be my favorite pit product and this is well used so I'm sorry if it looks a little nasty but this is the mega babe happy pits detoxifying underarm mask this is a two-time maybe a three-time I think it's a two-time very best award winner so Mega Babe is one of my favorite brands in general because I love what they represent and I love the products that they create. So they create body care products for things that are taboo. So like stinky pits, they have a butt mask, they have chafing sticks, they have um, stinky foot spray, like just things about the human woman body that happen that I feel like we never acknowledge. And I love that. I just love everything about the brand. This is by far my favorite product that they make. This is a charcoal based detoxifying mask. It is um, a, a sort of liquidy consistency that comes out of this hole here and you put it in your pits and you let it sit for I think like five to ten minutes and yeah five minutes. You can use it one to two times a week and it is a kaolin clay slash charcoal base mask but it also includes glycolic acid to help chemically exfoliate the armpits and vitamin c to help brighten the underarm. So if you're someone who has like that constant five o'clock shadow which I do it helps with that. It also includes 
includes green tea, so it's going to help like soothe that area if it's feeling a little bit overwhelmed from shaving, etc. It's just the absolute best thing for people who have chronic stinky pits like I do. If I am feeling really stinky within a week, I'll use this almost every single day that I shower, leave it on for five minutes while the water's warming up, and then boom, wash it off, do my entire routine, and my pits are stink free. It's absolutely amazing. It's not a deodorant, but it does help detoxify the area if you are dealing with extra stink. Couldn't recommend it more. And now we're getting into what I use to keep the stink at bay throughout the day. It's such a touchy and a tough subject for me because I feel like my armpits get used to things and it stops working. But these are some of the only products that I feel like I've continued to use and continue to work for me. Let's start with the duo that is a, these are all two time very best award winners. But this is the duo that I recommend to everyone when it comes to deodorant. And I've gotten a lot of people on this routine. I think this is a three time very best award winner. This is the Kosas Good Chemistry deodorant. This is an AHA serum deodorant, which means that it is a chemical exfoliating deodorant that's going to help break up the bacteria in your armpits to keep you from smelling. So this is not an antiperspirant. It's not going to keep you from sweating. It is simply meant to help break up the stink. This is a fragrance-free version. They have two other scents as well, which I've gone through. Currently, I'm just using up this fragrance-free version. It comes in a roll-on application. The only thing I don't like about this product is that I find that it doesn't dry down very quickly on my armpits, which is why I usually apply it at night. And when I am doing my hair, I give it a little Dyson down there to help it dry, but it doesn't leave any sticky residue once it does dry down. This is the best chemical deodorant that I've ever found that's in a serum that actually works to help break up the stink. By far my favorite, why I continue to repurchase it, but I do also sweat, so I need to double it up with something that has an aluminum in it, and if that's not your thing, that's not your thing, I totally get it, but I am a person who uses aluminum-based deodorant. Absolutely crucify me, put me up there, I'm just, I love it. I love to have my pits filled with chemicals to keep me from sweating, and this is the one that I use on top. Again, three-time Berry Best Award winner. This is the No Whites Marks on 100 Color dry spray from Dove. This is the advanced care spray. It just works so well. It not only kind of sets the serum deodorant, but it just keeps you fresh all day and it's an easy thing to reapply without having to like take off your whole top. For example, I'll do it right now. Great! This leaves a really nice scent to the underarms. This one in the clear finish, it's just kind of like a classic deodorant scent, but it is a no-brainer in my book, and I love the spray formula. And last but not least, if I'm feeling extremely pity and I need something stronger, let's say I'm going to an event, a wedding, something like that, if I'm gonna be out in the sun, if I'm really gonna be sweating, I'm pulling out my Old Spice, okay? Old Spice is not just for men. Anyone can use any scent or any product that they like, and this is the Wilderness scent. It smells like lavender. It's a nice unisex scent and I use the one with aluminum which is the white version. They also have an aluminum free version in blue if you're just interested in the scent itself. But if you need something heavy duty, Old Spice is always going to have your back. And these four products together are what keep me going in life. I kid you not. I am always open to trying new things so if you consider yourself to be a stinky person, let me know in the comments. I'm all ears and I'm always looking to smell better and that's on growth. Wow, I talked about deodorant for 10 minutes passion of mine. All right, we are getting now into the shower. So we've passed our pitters, we've detoxified them, whatever we need to do. Let's talk a bit about what my body shower routine is. This year, I had a deep, deep obsession with a new body wash product. In the past couple years, I had been choosing body washes that were, depending on what I was going through with my skin, but let's just call them boring for the sake of this video. So I think last year's winner was the Naturium Glow Getter Body Oil Wash, which I absolutely love and it is so beautiful. And then I think the year before that, it was the Kosas Body Watch, which is also amazing. But in the last year, I have healed from something that I had within the last year. I know I'm sounding confusing. I had a rare disease. I had a body, full body rash that was really, really irritated by everything. Now that it has healed and it is gone, I have started to dip my toe into fun scented wash off style products again. So I tend to always go for boring body lotions and things that stay on the skin. But when it comes to things that I can wash off, I am trying to find the best smelling thing out there. And I think this year I have found it with my obsession for native body washes. Honestly, I think for a while I didn't want to try native 
even though so many people were constantly recommending it, I felt like they were sponsoring like every podcast I've ever listened to. And because of that, I was like, I don't know. It just feels like they're really inexpensive. Like how good can it be? Until this summer I was in Target and I was like, oh, they have a candy shop limited edition line. And one of the scents was gummy bears. They had strawberries. They had like a blue raspberry. They had all these different scents, but I was immediately drawn to the gummy bear scent and my world was forever changed, forever changed. Oh my god. This has been an empty for months. I haven't talked about it in my empties yet because we've gone through many of them But I just like to open it sometimes and savor the scent because it smells so good Which we'll get into with perfumes at the end of this video. These are amazing So these are sulfate free dye free all of that, but they lather so well They have a really nice clear thicker consistency They lather beautifully and they come in a million scents. My husband has used some different scents than I've used I've gone through so so many of the gummy bear and now I'm on to a new flavor that is my current obsession that is also limited edition and it is sugar cookie. You guys know we talked about body washes recently in my fall favorites video. This takes the cake, dude. It's so good. My husband even likes this one, which again is saying something because he's more of a masculine stout guy. This smells like a toasted sugar cookie. It's just different than your typical like vanilla based food scents. Like I am not really a food scents type of girl. I never have been, but recently I've been finding reasons to try them because of how well they're done and Native does it very well. I also love their spiced eggnog scent, which I have waiting for me. They have like their regular line of scents that's very good, but their limited edition scents are otherworldly so unique so beautiful and I find myself craving to see what the next round of scents is going to be because of how much luck I've had with these so I look forward to using them every single time I'm in the shower they genuinely make me happy and what's better than that you know, what's better than getting into the shower and feeling like I can't wait to smell this and lather myself in this. Which speaking of lathering, this is also a three time Berry Best Award winner. And so is the product I'm going to mention afterwards, which is my silicone loofah and my razor system. So highly, highly recommend that if you are a person who likes to use a loofah of any kind, that you pick up a silicone loofah instead of a typical like wash rag type of vibe. These do not go bad. I have had this one forever and it is just as clean clean as the day I got it because you're literally cleaning it with the soap you use it for on your body and it doesn't harbor any bacteria it doesn't mold and it helps lightly exfoliate the skin these are great stocking stuffers as well it comes with this little finger thing on the back it's perfect it lathers super super well and it is just an easy way to be more environmentally friendly in the shower I prefer this over washcloths they don't ever stink they don't ever mildew they are by far the best invention when it comes to body care in the shower and in conjunction with that, I always recommend the Billy razor system. So I have used Billy now for almost five years at this point. I like to say that if you have something that you are using all the time, i.e. razors or like tampons, pads, things like that. If you are using something all the time, I think it's in your best interest monetarily to get a subscription. So you can buy Billy razors at the store. You can buy refills at the store as well, or you can go through their website subscription service and get I think mine is like bi-monthly I get four new blades every other month so that you always have a clean shave and you're not going out of your way to constantly pick up new things or use a dull razor which can cause a lot of irritation on the body it's by far my favorite razor I've tried a lot of different kinds I think it works very well it is a five blade razor and it also comes with a little travel Topper. Couldn't recommend it more. I think it's pretty inexpensive. I have had my actual bottom piece since the beginning and it has lasted me this entire time. So highly, highly recommend Billy as well as the um, tampon brand Lola. If you happen to be a person who ovulates, Lola is my favorite. They are also a subscription based tampon service that sends you tampons in the mail. I get a new box every single month with 18, I believe it's 18 different tampons and they're all based on uh, what size you want. So I get like a quarter of my box is light, a quarter of my box is like more like two quarters of my box is like medium and then one quarter is like a super size so you can really make it your own um, and I just always recommend doing subscriptions for things you know you're gonna be purchasing anyways okay so I'm going to go to body lotion and then we're gonna talk about some of the more fun things like body scrubs SPFs tanning all of that jazz I did want to mention that this year was a little bit weird for me when it came to body lotion because I tried a lot I feel like usually I have like one or two that I try 
try and I stick with for the entire year. Typically, it's the CeraVe moisturizing cream, the like heavy body cream. But this year, I tried a lot of different kinds. And so I felt like there wasn't any consistency in the lotions. I tried some from Prequel. I used a lot of Aveeno this year, which was nice. But as we get into the winter months, I find that I need something much thicker. And I wanted to share what I have been really, really enjoying this year, at least this season. And that is from Bioderma. This is their Etoderm Intensive Balm. This stuff is so freaking good. So first of all, Bioderma is a French brand. I was in France this past year and I bought a bunch of stuff from them. It is highly recommended by French pharmacists. And I would say that this is a brand that I would like equate to La Roche-Posay style products, very sensitive, skin friendly, helpful with um, irritated or itchy skin, things like that. So if that's you, you have eczema, you have lizard legs, which is me, I would totally, totally recommend grabbing this. You can get this at Target. This helps repair and restore the lipids in your skin. It's also an anti-itching product and it comes with a lot. It comes with uh, 16 ounces and it comes in a pump, which is a game changer for me. Usually when it comes to a thicker cream, it's always in a scoop style container because of the texture. But if I can find a really thick cream that comes in a pump, I am immediately nine times more interested in that simply because I don't have to stick my hands in it. I always have nails on, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. And they're typically longer, so I don't like having things under my nails. It really bothers me. I feel like it gets everywhere. So if I can avoid that, I absolutely will. And this pump works super well. I also love how tall and lean it is, which sounds weird, but I keep this on my nightstand because I also use it for my hand lotion in the evenings. I love that it doesn't take up a lot of space on my vanity. And um, it's just really amazing. This can be used on children. It is safe for sensitive, acne prone, eczema skin. It's beautiful. It's thick. What else can I say? It's that boring lotion that you need to keep your legs and your arms from feeling like a lizard. Enjoy. Okay, let's get into some fun little extras and things like that. Um, Let's say we're back in the shower, okay? So even though we've talked about the lotion, let's jump back in the shower for a minute and talk about body scrubs. I have not really used as many body scrubs this year because I haven't self-tanned quite as much this year, so I haven't felt the need to physically exfoliate my skin all the time. However, there is one this year that both me and my husband have been using and just kind of for fun and also because I love the scent and the feel of it on my body. And that is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. This is in their St. Bart scent, which is just their iconic, so yummy, luxurious, like I'm literally in St. Bart is what this smells like. I love this scent so much because it doesn't give like tropical drink. You know, sometimes you smell those and you're like, okay, this is a little over the top, like coconut rum. You're not getting that. You're getting like sea breeze, tropical, more elevated scent. And this product is incredible. So this is a really thick scrub that can be used on the scalp and the body. I prefer to use it on the body because I really like the scalp scrub from um, Crown Affair, but I've also used this one in my hair and it has a really beautiful lather to it. So it's like this thick, juicy base, like gel almost that lathers on the body and in the scalp and then really thick pieces of like salt. Um, they're not jagged, but they are a little bit thicker that help physically exfoliate the scalp and the body. And to me, it's like such a good first step before going in with a self tanner because it really helps make sure the skin is clean, squeaky clear, but also doesn't strip the skin of its natural oils because of that beautiful, luxurious, like textured gel that it has in it. I find this to be like a special occasion type of thing. It makes me feel good. If I have the extra minutes to do it, I will. And it lasts you a really long time. I love Way. I love a lot of their products. And I think if you haven't tried this and you're looking for a moment to yourself, whether that's in the tub or it's in the shower, this is a great option. And I think it also comes in a mini if you just want to try it out. Which speaking of self tan, as I mentioned, I haven't done as much self tanning this year. I had a tan that lasted me for a really long time. Honestly, I feel like just now I'm starting to self tan again. I self tanned for a wedding that I was in a couple weekends ago. And what I've noticed about myself as I'm getting older is that I don't have the patience for the eight hour wear time that a self tanner requires. So I think last year, one of my favorites was the um, Luna Bronze eight hour tanning mousse. It gives 
gives you the most amazing results. But again, I am losing patience for keeping something on for eight hours that makes you smell like a pretzel chip. I just am. So I have found myself gravitating towards two hour express style products. And my favorite of the year was the San Tropez Self Tan Express. That is a one hour, two hour, or three hour treatment, depending on how dark you wanna get it. So you could wear this for one hour and achieve a light tan, two hours a medium, and three hours a deep tan, which I can appreciate because some of the other three hour express style products, you have to wear for the full three hours or else literally almost nothing shows up on the skin. And they also come in light, medium, and dark. Whereas this is really like do it yourself, decide how deep you want your tan to be. I've left this on before for four to five hours to help with the longevity of the tan. And I also find that Saint Tropez has a really nice olive toned undertone to it, which helps with my skin tone in particular. I really like this. I like the flexibility of it. And again, I'm just like so much less interested in keeping things on my body for a long time. I also do like the like overtime self tanning lotions, but again, I'm so much more drawn to using my typical body lotions that I know won't irritate my skin um, rather than having like a lotion that may have fragrance and irritate my legs for eight hours at a time. So that's my current favorite. If you have any recommendations for like a body tanner, let me know. But honestly, it's so few and far between that I do it in the winter that I need it to be three hours or less, baby. I do have a two-time award winner for the face though. I know this is a body video, but I did wanna mention this product that I use, especially in the winter. And this is the tanning water from the brand Salty Face. This is by far my favorite self tanner for the face that I've ever tried. They also have a body version that I don't love quite as much because it comes in a giant like this, like a giant glass container like this, but it's clear. So when you put it on your skin, you have no idea if you've missed a spot, which I'm messy. I need to know if I'm missing a spot, if I have too much on one area. So that's why I like the typical tanning mousses. But for the face, what I like to do is take a brush, which this is the brush that comes with it. And I'll spray two to three spritz on the brush and I'll give myself a nice sort of bronzed look with it where and this is clear. So you won't be able to tell where I'll do the three as if I was do, putting on like a liquid with bronzer so forehead cheekbones and then across the nose and if I do this like one to two nights a week it will give me a noticeable difference as to where I feel comfortable with no makeup on and I just feel a little bit better about myself being tan makes you feel good and this is the most subtle way to do that it's also sensitive skin friendly it's fragrance free it's never caused me any issues and if you want a full facial tan you can still spray this on the brush do your entire face bring it down the neck and help with matching to your body it also comes if you have the body version it comes with a giant body buffing brush as well that you could use on the face but the one that comes with the face spray is really a no-brainer again it works super well I love the fact that it's sort of like an overtime when I wake up just makes me look fresh if I remember to do it it's something I do a lot so definitely recommend trying out the salty face brand for the facial tanners so getting into some body SPF we have two very best award two-time winners coming back into play this year which is interesting interesting because I feel like there was a lot of body SPF being pushed this year, but in my opinion, nothing really beats these two. And I have an addition that I want to mention. So for an everyday SPF that you may be using on the beach, maybe your husband likes to golf, maybe you like to golf, whatever it may be. In my opinion, nothing is easier and more accessible to use than the super goop play. This is an SPF 50 everyday lotion, um, PA plus, 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 and water and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes. It has a beautifully light scent to it and it is a chemical SPF meaning no white casts on the body it blends in beautifully it feels like it's hydrating the skin and it just gives you a nice classic glow this is what Reed and I use as our base SPF almost anytime we're out in the summer he keeps one of these in his golf bag it's just one of the most classic beautiful body SPFs that you can always rely on and has kept me from being sunburnt over and over again. Let's say you want something that's a little more elevated. You want the look of like a glowing goddess while you're out on the beach or um, by the pool. Maybe you're on a bachelorette party or maybe you just like to look like that all the time. Look no further than the two-time Berry Best Award winner, the Kopari Sun Shield Body Glow. I am obsessed with this stuff. You guys know this. This is their secondary shade, which might've been limited edition. This is their rose gold shade, which 
I actually prefer over the gold shade. This is an SPF 45 gel. So it's kind of like a body oil vibe to it and it does have oils in it, but it gives you the look of literally a fried chicken. It's protecting your skin and giving you the look as if you are a glowing bronze sun goddess that was meant to be there and you just, you look incredible. Look at this like beautiful shimmer and sheen in this product. It makes you look absolutely ethereal and there's nothing like it. I love the feel of it. It's lightweight. It's a little bit oily, but mostly it has a nice thickness to it. And it just, I can't recommend it more. It smells good. It smells like you're a little bit of your classic SPF, but man, it's absolutely stunning. They have a regular yellow gold one as well. You can pick these up at Ulta. And I just find that nothing compares. Whenever I go outside, this is what I want to use because I love the way it looks on my skin. However, there was a straight up sunscreen glow oil that I started using this year that sort of was, I was using as like a makeup skincare hybrid on my body. And that is the Everyday Humans Sun Glazed SPF 30 Sunscreen Glow Oil. This is a straight oil. So whereas this is more of a gel style product, it has a little bit of body to it. This is gonna give you straight like liquid glow to it. This has a beautiful um, bronze shade with a bunch of shimmer in it. And I started using this because we had the um, Berry Freckled Pen photo shoot at my house this summer and I really wanted to make sure my body looked like it was shimmering from the gods while also protecting it because our photo shoot was during some of the hottest days of the entire year. The photos turned out so beautiful because I was using this all over my decollete. So I started using this in the summer anytime I would go out. I used it at my um, Berry Freckled Pen launch party with all of my friends and it just looks beautiful on the skin. It gives you that beautiful again like fried chicken look which is what I always say. Maybe you don't want to look like a fried chicken. That's fine. If you don't definitely go for the super goo play it'll just give you a natural finish but if you just want to look supple nourished a little shimmery and feel special these are your girls and I think that something like this kind of goes well with going out in the evening or going out from day to night um sometimes I'll keep this in my car and just apply a little to the decollete it comes with a little sprayer on the tip it's super special I love it and again SPF 30 will protect your body something that I want to mention that I don't have out here because it's downstairs and I'm lazy back to the shower really quickly we're going back to the shower for the third time is a good body towel so we're starting to get into things that I would consider to be more self-care cozy vibes starting with a good towel I was using regular ass towels from Target for the longest time or wherever and then Hero Cosmetics sent me a PR package like two years ago and included was a miracle body towel from the brand miracle towels since getting that PR package I have bought like 10 of those towels they are incredible they're huge first of all big enough for my big ass husband who's 6'3 and they soak up the water on your body as if it was a microfiber hair towel they're incredibly soft and plush and they last forever naturally microbial so they're helping to get out some of the bacteria that sits on towels while they're in your bathroom but they are the most luxurious towels you will ever try and I highly recommend trying them or giving them as gifts to like new couples whatever birthdays, Christmas, one of the best gifts and something that I will continue to purchase for myself because it has really changed my body game and my shower game. Which speaking of, let's start talking about some of, again, the self-care things that have changed the game for me this year and things that just make me feel good. The first thing I wanted to start with is my hand care and the things that I do to make me feel good. And that would be a specific hand lotion and my press on nails. So this year I went from being a full gel X girly to a press on nail girly in the blink of an eye. I was spending three hours every two weeks on my nails and it was great. It was a hobby that I really enjoyed, but if I didn't have the time, I still felt like I needed to do it because my nails needed the help and it was really, really, really time consuming. So when my friend Bailey started sending me her products, which are called quickies, they're nails, press on nails, I started using them and immediately converted. And this was probably early summer of 2023. It got to the point where I was wearing press on so often and I was talking to Bailey so often about different styles that she should launch that we actually launched a collection together um, in October. So I've talked about it here before, but I wanted to just bring up the fact that press on nails, I consider to be body care because it is something that I do every week, every other week to make me feel good about myself and my body and the way that I present myself. It's also self-expression. It's just something that I really enjoy doing. So I wanted to mention 
in two of the best sellers from my collection. The first one being She Wore Blue Velvet. These are a medium almond length and they have a reflective sort of velvet glitter to them. They're absolutely stunning on and they have been a crowd favorite. And then secondarily is a more neutral trendy version which these are called Chocolate Glaze. These are a dark espresso brown chocolate with a glaze on top and these are in a short round length. I absolutely love these. Quickies has so many options to choose from. Right now I'm wearing a red rounded short shape. They have so many, they're easy to use. Their packages come with everything you need. And if you haven't tried press-ons, I need to know what you're waiting for because they are not what you think they are anymore. They used to be so cheesy and you couldn't find good ones. I'm telling you now, some of the best nails I've ever worn and I get asked questions about them all the time. Secondarily, I wanted to mention, I guess two things. One is downstairs but I'll pop in a picture which is my to go nail cuticle balm. It's from Essie and it is a little on the go roller ball for your cuticles and it is the best way to just keep your hands looking really fresh and keep your manicure looking fresh while you're out and about because it comes in a plastic container. You don't have to worry about glass and it's just a little roll on thing. It smells really, really good. It's from Essie, it's inexpensive. Could not recommend it more. In addition with this particular hand cream. This is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor hand cream. It's an SPF 15 hand cream. I wish it was more. I wish it was like SPF 30, but honestly, the reason that I love it so much is that it doesn't feel or look like a sunscreen. It has a nice, thick, um, really luxurious texture that just blends into the skin really seamlessly, but it's not so thick that it is like making you feel greasy. That's what I don't like about a hand cream. I want it to sink into the skin and feel like, okay, my hands are now moisturized, but I don't have like sticky, greasy fingers. And I feel like this gives you that while also being an SPF 15, which I think is something that we often overlook is making sure that we are using SPF on our hands, which is one of the earliest signs of aging on people is from their hands because we just don't protect them as much as we should. So highly recommend it. This is a zinc oxide based sunscreen as well. So if you have sensitive skin, it's a little bit um, easier on the hands. Two things that I wanted to bring up that I think I've talked about in the past that I consider to be integral into my self care and body care routine. First off, this is my number one choice in this entire video. These are my hot booties, otherwise known as the Terra Warm Microwavable Socks. These are from Amazon and I am not kidding you, ask my husband. I use these every single night. Every single night of the week. I put these in the microwave for two minutes. I shove them under my blankets while I'm brushing my teeth and washing my face. I get into bed. They're the perfect temperature. The bed is warm underneath it and I just wash the crown with my little soft hot feet and it drifts me off into sleep. If you have chronically cold feet like I do, especially in the winter, just get these, okay? I think they're like $30. You can use them a million gazillion times. They smell lightly of lavender, so they're not gonna stink. They're amazing. They're the best gift if you wanna give someone a stocking stuffer that's literally socks. Absolutely go for it. And to me, this is body care. This is feminism. This is the ideal microwavable socks. And uh, the last little little piece of self-care that I wanted to bring up was something I got this year that I've also gave to my mother as a gift um, that I saw on TikTok and I did fall prey to it. This is a um, massage eye mask. It looks like a VR headset, it is not. So if you are someone who struggles with migraines, headaches, allergies, things like that, this is a literal godsend. So basically it is a massager that is uh, rechargeable through a cord and it lightly massages around the orbital eye and around your sinuses to just help break everything up. It helps with a little bit of a temple massage as well and it also has heat. So it heats up your face, it massages your face, it helps with migraines. There are a few functions on it. It's also like a Bluetooth speaker if you wanted to listen to your music while you're doing it, but it also plays spa music on its own, which honestly I'm not a fan of, but. It could be fun for you. I love using this. It makes you look absolutely insane when you take it off. You're like, where am I? But it, it, it takes you to another world. It takes you absolutely to another world. If you also just need a break and you feel like, okay, I've done a lot and my eyes are tired. I've looked at the screen all freaking day. Give yourself an eye massage. You will not regret it. Um, also a great gift. If you know someone in your life who gets migraines or gets headaches often, absolutely amazing. Okay, we are rounding out this video with my perfume recommendations for the year. And and I have to say, 
It's really no surprise that my favorite perfumes this year came from Fleur. I have been so impressed with this brand in the past year and it has really grown so much in my opinion. So originally there were a lot of Fleur scents that I liked and didn't love. I had tried Missing Person, Amelie, which they're now phasing out. Some of the scents that I liked but I didn't love and I was like, I'm just not finding the one for me until this particular scent came out, which is my very best perfume of the year in father figure. This scent is so unique. I will put the um, notes up on the screen. I am not a Lush Greens perfume type of girl. Um, also, you know, like warning here, everyone's nose is different depending on what they like and what kind of perfumes they're into. I am typically a gourmand and or fruity scent. I really like a citrus scent. I do not go for greens. I do not go for floral ever. This is a lush green scent and it is, I have gone through almost my entire travel size and I use this almost every day. It has the most unique scent profile to me that if you asked me what this smells like, I wouldn't be able to tell you because it has its own mind to it. Like it's gotta be the most unique scent in my collection and I absolutely love it. Let's just do it. Mm. It lasts on me. I know a lot of people say Fleur doesn't last, but I'm a person who applies my perfume to my clothes instead of my skin. So a piece of clothing that I wear like over and over, if I haven't washed it, which I haven't washed this, which shout out, this is my Dairy Girl sweatshirt that I got from Etsy, which was in my gift guide. This currently smells like a different scent that I'm going to mention, but I... I just can't get enough of this. I say try and smell this in person if you can, but honestly, you just have to trust me on this one. And when I say it is so, so incredibly good, different, unique, and I think a one of a kind scent in my collection. My other favorite scent of the year, which again is no surprise, is from their new body hair and mist line. This is the scent Vanilla Skin. So this came in a launch that had three different scents. One was an amber scent, one was a more citrus scent, and then this one was the vanilla scent. The other two are absolutely incredible, and if this hadn't launched along with it, they would be in my favorites. But because of this one, this has blown the other ones out of the water. This is my perfect vanilla scent. It is as similar to the sugar cookie body wash that I could ever ask for in terms of a vanilla. I really love vanilla. I love gourmand. Like, I'm looking at my other vanilla perfumes over here, and I just can't give you a comparison that's even close to being as good as this. I know that this was sold out on Sephora's website for quite some time, but I think that it is back on Fleur's website. Highly recommend you try it if you are a gourmand vanilla girl. It's a nice, beautiful skin scent, and if you like something lightweight, you've got to try this. I'm telling you, it's so special and beautiful, and every time I smell it, it makes me happy. Which, speaking of, I just got this perfume in the mail yesterday, and I'm putting it in this video. That should tell you something. And that is because this is a carbon copy scent of the gummy bear body wash from needed. I know. I know. This is their new scent from Fleur once again called Mood Ring. Are you kidding me? The top note in this is fruit gummies. This to me smells not exactly, but very close to the gummy bear scent from Native. And it is a one of a kind perfume. I almost wish that it was put into a body mist because it has this really youthful light scent to it, but I love that it's a perfume because it lasts. It has lasted on this sweatshirt now since yesterday. I have reapplied it like four times because I just love it so much. The minute you smell it, it's really strong of gummy bears. I'm like, my eyes are closed because I'm trying to like go through the scent process. The minute you smell it, it's immediately gummy bears. And as it dries down on the skin, it's more of like a pear sort of fruity scent, um, less candy and more classic fruit that smells a little bit more like God is a woman from Ariana Grande, like her typical kind of fruity gourmandy scents without being as like vanillic. It's really, really unique. I would say this is Way more of a spring to summertime scent just because of how happy and fun and different it is but I love it I love the bottle shape I love the color I think the campaign for this was so cool and I just love what Fleur is doing these days it makes me so happy to see them continue to shine and I do have other perfumes in my collection that I really loved this year but nothing compared to those so I felt that I had to mention them I'm so glad 
filmed this today because honestly I was going into this video being like, ugh, this video is not gonna do well, who cares about body care anymore? And I left the video feeling like, no, it's so much more than that. It is about comfort and self care and things that make you happy and give you that like warm, fuzzy feeling. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if you have a perfume recommendation or any sort of body or self care recommendation. And also if you have picked up any of these things on my recommendation and what you think of them. Always love to hear your feedback. Next week is our last very best video and we will be covering hair care, which has been quite the year for me since my hair is now short and red. Um, so we have a lot of new stuff to talk about. I am really, really excited. I love you guys. I hope you are having an amazing holiday season and I will see you in the next video next Saturday. Bye.